Hi everyone, in my previous video I showed you how to create this TIS plan. In this video I will show you how you can add TIS cases to this TIS plan. You can either start creating TIS cases straight away by clicking this button or you can create a TIS suite to keep a set of TIS cases together. So I'm going to create a TIS suite so that I can keep all my TIS cases together. Um, in order to do this, uh, select the three dots on your test plan, select new suite, and I'm going to select static suite. I'll give a name for my test suite called uh, functional testing. This is so that I can separate my functional testing from other types of testing such as security testing and so forth. To add test cases, select the test suite and then click new test case. This is how the new test case looks like. You'll need to enter a title for this test case. I'm going to enter um, create, a, oops, create a record. I'm going to save this or you can use control S as well. In order to start adding test steps, select this row and you can type in your testing steps. So I'll type login as a test user and you can enter your expected result. So I'm just going to enter some test data. And you can continue adding the testing step by clicking this or you can select the insert step button. If you want to remove one of the steps, select the row and click the delete button. In order to add attachments, you can click this button and select a file from your computer. You can also format what you have typed by highlighting and you can make it bold, italic can format it however you like. Once you're done just click save so everything is um, saved. In this area you can see the, if you select this you can select see the attachments that you have added. I've not added anything so there's nothing to see but if you did the list will show here. You can see a history of this test case of what has happened. Um, any changes that have been made, the states that it would have been changed to and by whom. You can assign this test case if you're a test manager maybe you want to assign it to one of your test analysts. You can change the stage from design to ready or it's closed. You can change the priority if needed and you can also change the area and iteration if you have access to do this. You can have a discussion with your colleagues, you can use the add feature. If you do this, it will send an email notification to them about this test case. You can also add existing work items such as if you want to link the bugs related to this case, test case or the user stories and just enter the ID. It will show the list, you can select it and click OK. One of the nice features or I like of this Azure DevOps is you can use this follow button. If you select this that you're following, any changes that are made to your test case, you'll get a notification, so you know, if anything has been changed, maybe something's been closed accidentally, you'll get to know. If you select the three dots on the right hand side, it has more functions that it can do such as you can email this, create a copy and once you are ready and you think you've added all the information that you need you can close, save and close and your test case will show on the list under the test suite. If you've created more all of them will just be listed here Again, if you select the three dots, it'll have more features, functions, you can remove it. 
you can make a copy, export it. Same with the Tis Suite. You can, if you select the three dots on the side, you can rename, you can delete, you can export it. So this is a very high level overview of creating a test case and I hope it helps with your testing.